You still think uh, racist Edomites don't exist in America? Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai. And um, this is an article I pretty much found on yahoonews.com. Okay, right here it says black people are effing lazy, right? Meaning F-U-C-K-I-N-G, lazy. Texas company displays hate symbols and nooses allowed managers to call black employees the N word alarming EEOC lawsuit alleges, you know, so, you know, a lot of you Jake's you're 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 in this dream bubble that, you know, you 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 are still somehow love Edomites. And for those who don't know. The Edom, the, the biblical Edomites that are written in the Holy Scriptures is the self-proclaimed white man. And that's starting with the so-called elites to those fake ass Jews in the land of Israel claiming to, claiming to be Jewish. And they're not. They descend from Amalek and Amalek comes from the line of Esau, who is Edom, like it tells you in Genesis, the 36th chapter. OK, they're also Edomites along with the so-called elites, trickling down to the rest of their nation of people. Those are the biblical Edomites that have rule and control over the whole face of the earth. Okay, those are the Edomites. Okay, our forefather is Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. The true Hebrew Israelites are the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians. OK, we are the true biblical Israelites. OK. And something else to take note of is that so-called Negroes come from the tribe of Judah. OK, the word Jew, J-U, is short for Judah. And the only way you could be a Jew is if your father's lineage on your father's side goes back to a so-called Negro which come from the tribe of Judah. And Judah is one of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So here, you know, you got these um, Israelites who the world ignorantly calls black people. And just because your skin is brown and you have woolly hair does not mean you're an Israelite, okay? Because we, we cannot forget about the parable of, of the tares and the wheat which I believe, I believe is in Matthew's the 23rd chapter, but don't quote me on that. Okay, so you got the tares and you got the wheat, where, where the wheat are the Israelites, that's the good seed. Okay, and then you got the tares. The tares look like the wheat, you know what I mean? And, and which, what, what, what color is wheat? Wheat is a brownish color, <laughs> okay? But anyways, you know, what, which goes to show you, there's no such thing as a black or white person OK, when you when, when you look at your your flat TV screen after you turn it off, that's black. Ain't nobody on this planet that color. OK, furthermore, we are different shades of brown. OK, the colors black and white was invented by the so-called white man in order to push so-called white supremacy, which is really Edomite supremacy because you so-called white people, you're not white, you're red. OK, in a matter of fact, uh, Esau, who is Edom, right, because you so-called white people, y'all come y'all come from the line of, of Esau. OK, now now Esau is called Edom. You can find that in the book of Genesis, Genesis, the 36th chapter in the first verse. You can also find it in another uh, verse in Genesis, the 36th chapter. But when you look up the word Edom. The word Edom goes back to the Hebrew word Adawam, which means red. And how come you so-called white people are called red? 
The reason why you so-called white people are called red or Edom, Edom is another name for red. The reason why you so-called white people are called red is because of the blood that shows forth through your skin. Okay. Just like your forefather Esau, you see, the reason why Esau was called red, well, no, Esau was called red because he 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 basically ate some bloody uncooked meat. Are you sure about that? Because the scriptures tell you that that Esau came back from the field. You better best because you better best believe it was fucking hot as hell over there in the Middle East. Don't you know it gets way hotter over there in the Middle East than than what it does over here in America? Yeah, Jacob and Esau, they were living. Uh, Jacob and Esau were, were living in, uh, around those, those Middle Eastern areas at, at, at around that time. OK, so guess what? It was hot as fuck over there. So you already know when Esau came back from the field from 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 hunting in that hot blazing sun, you better best believe his blood was showing forth through his face, probably his neck, his arms, because he was out in that hot blazing sun. What happens when you so-called white people stand out in a hot blazing sun for too long without sunscreen? Hmm? What happens when you so-called white people stand out in a hot blazing sun for too long without sunscreen? You start to turn red, just like your forefather Esau. Why? Because of the blood that shows forth through your skin. So there's no such thing as a black or white person, okay? And furthermore, we say so-called black because our skin is not black. Our skin color is a variety of different shades of brown, okay? You got very light brown-skinned people. You have light brown skin people you have a uh, caramel brown skin people you have caramel golden brown skin people like that's my skin complexion my skin complexion is that i'm a caramel my my skin complexion is a caramel golden brown skin complexion and then you have brown skin complexion OK, which is is um, which is darker than your your caramel golden brown skin complexion. So you got brown skin complexion, then you have dark brown skin, you know. And then you have very dark brown skin. Like Yahweh Shai. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus in the book of Revelation, the first chapter, the 13th verse to the 15th verse. I'm not going to necessarily get it, but it describes his skin color as being a very dark brown skinned color. And somebody who's very dark brown skinned, they would their skin would appear to be black, but their skin is not black. It's just a very dark brown skinned color. OK, those Africans over there in the land of Africa. OK, they are a very dark brown skinned color. They may look black, but they're not black. If you look at their skin color closely, you can clearly see brownness in their skin, which indicates that they are a very dark brown skinned color. So there's no such thing as a black person. Again, if you turn off your flat screen TV and you look at the screen, that's black. You look at the you look at your, the, the, the tires on your car. I'm talking about your average tires on your car. That's black. Ain't nobody on the planet that color. OK, so there's no such thing as a black or white person. And again, black or white. Those are colors that came from the self-proclaimed white man in order to push so-called white supremacy. So now you know why we say so-called white people or so-called black people. So-called because that's not our race and that is not our nationality. OK, everybody has a nationality in the Holy Scriptures. The Arabs are the biblical Ishmaelites. The Chinese people are the biblical Moabites. The Chinese people are the biblical Moabites. The Japanese people 
are the biblical Ammonites. The East Indians are the biblical Elamites. The Hawaiians to the Samoans, those are the biblical Japhites. The Africans are the biblical Hamites. The North Koreans and the South Koreans are biblical Moabites. Okay. Some of those Taiwanese people. Okay. Some of those Taiwanese people. Okay. Some of them, their lineage goes back to Moab. Okay. You uh, so-called white people. Your biblical nationality are Edomites. You so-called white people, your biblical nationality goes back to the Edomites. And the so-called Negro, Latino and Native Indians. Our biblical nationality goes back to the Israelites. So we are the true biblical Israelites of the Holy Scriptures. We're not black. We're not Mexican. We're not Puerto Rican. We're not Dominicans. We're not Guatemalans. We're not Panamians. Okay. We're, we're, we're not Yerugians. We're not Colombians. We're not Mexicans. We're not Native Indians. We are not West Indians or Jamaicans. We're not Haitians. We're not Argentinians. We're not Chileans. We're not Cubans. We are the true biblical Israelites of the Holy Scriptures. Okay? You so-called Negroes, you come from the tribe of Judah. You so-called Jamaicans, what the world calls West Indians, y'all come from the tribe of Benjamin. You Haitians, Y'all come from the tribe of Levi. You Dominicans, you come from the tribe of Simeon. Okay, you Cubans, y'all come from the tribe of Manasseh. Okay, you Puerto Ricans, y'all come from the tribe of Ephraim. You Guatemalans, two Panamians, y'all come from the tribe of Zebulon. You Colombians, you Colombians to you uh, Yerugians, y'all come from the tribe of Naphtali. I mean, not, not, excuse me, excuse me. You Colombians to you Yerugians, y'all come from the tribe of Asher. You Argentinians to Chileans, y'all come from the tribe of Naphtali. You so-called North American Indians, y'all come from the tribe of Gad. You so-called Seminole Indians, y'all come from the tribe of Reuben. You so-called Mexicans, y'all come from the tribe of Ishakar. These are the true biblical Israelites as it is proven in the Holy Scriptures. And we can prove it through biblical prophecy that we are, in fact, the true biblical Israelites. We can prove through biblical prophecy that we are the true biblical Israelites. You see? So you see, the reason why we are the most hated people on the planet is because we are the Lord's chosen people. OK. And, and furthermore, the Heavenly Father and his son did not choose any other nation. They chose us, the true biblical Israelites. OK. Jacob is our forefather whose name was changed to Israel. King David, though that that's our our ancestors. King Solomon, that's our ancestors. Job, Moses, Noah, those are our ancestors, Adam and Eve. OK, we Adam and Eve, though Adam and Eve were, were, were brown skinned people with woolly hair. OK, Esau was the first person 
Esau, whose name was changed to Edom, was the very first person to be born on this planet with no pigmentation. Everybody else on the planet was brown skinned with woolly hair. The Arabs, the Chinese, Japanese, okay, the East Indians, the Africans, the Hawaiians, Samoans, okay, they all had brown skin and woolly hair. Except for Esau, whose name was Edom. Esau came out with no melanin, no pigmentation in his skin. That's why his skin was translucent. That's why you could see his blood through his skin. And thus, that's why he was called Edom, which is a Hebrew, Adawam, which means red. Because of the blood that showed forth through his skin. When you read Genesis, the 25th chapter, it tells you that Esau came out red all over. Why? Because when, because when Esau came out of the womb of Rebekah as a baby, his blood showed forth through, 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 throughout, throughout his whole body. Esau was born. When Esau came out of the womb of Rebekah with no pigmentation, no melanin, his blood was showing forth throughout his whole body through his skin as a baby. And that's why I said that the first, which was Esau, he came out red all over. Okay. Because of the blood that showed forth throughout the skin of his whole body. And you so-called white people, you're not white, you're red because of the blood that show forth through your body, just like your forefather Esau. But anyways, you know, you got a bunch of racist Edomites here, <laughs> you know. I'm not going to read this whole article, more like get straight to the point. Okay. Check this out. In, eight, in one April 2018 incident, you know, situation... Smith, who served as a crane operator, was ordered by the field manager to pick up an air conditioning unit at Fort Worth facility while working in Frisco, Texas. He was met with racial slurs when when he asked the manager for help. OK, you know, nigger, if you're going to bitch about it, you can turn that truck around and take your ass home. You see that show you that these, these Edomites, they don't give a fuck about you, Jakes. So, so, so why, why, why? Like, like the scriptures say, why trimmest thou ways to, to, to seek love? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked thy ways. But here it is. You got an Edomite a, a, who claimed to be a, a, a white person, right? He basically called you the, the N-word, right? And then he said, if you're going to bitch about it, you could turn that truck around and take your ass home. The manager allegedly said, according to the lawsuit. When Smith attempted to re report him as stated in the lawsuit, he didn't receive an, an effective response from his management. Creighton also allegedly had a similar experience while working as a crane operator at the company. The complaint also says that he was called the N-word by a field manager. It also alleges that Campbell, a truck driver, overheard his colleagues using the derogatory term. He later discovered that he was that he also was being referred to as a white co-worker's black daddy. <laughs> Shit. Damn, bro. But hey, you, you, you niggas still want Esau to make it, right? These Edomites don't give a fuck about it. They ain't even thinking about you niggas, man. This is how Esau feel about y'all. Okay. When he tried to put in a report, man, when he tried to put in a report, man, oh, when he tried to put in a report management, he reportedly was told, said it would be handled. However, it was not addressed. Yeah, because Esau don't care about y'all, man. OK, Perdia started working as a rigger for the company in 2019. He claimed that. In one interaction, a white colleague, which he's really an Edomite. He's not white. He's an Edomite. A, a Edomite told him a lot of black people are fucking lazy. And that simply ain't true. OK, we're we're the most hardest working people on the fucking planet. So what the fuck are you talking about? We're the most hardest working people on the planet. Some of us got two fucking jobs. OK. You, you, you goddamn Edomites, all y'all do is what? The, the majority of y'all, the, the majority of you Edomites, you, you self-proclaimed white people, the majority of y'all 
What y'all do for for y'all careers or y'all jobs is what? Y'all motherfuckers sit in offices in front of a computer, type typing this and typing that. Don't you think that that's kind of a kind of a a, a lazy job? How many so-called black people do you know sit around on computers and shit, typing this and typing that? No, the majority of you so self-proclaimed white people have them jobs. And guess what? If y'all lose them jobs, y'all are the main ones on the forefront to commit suicide because y'all punk asses cannot handle pressure. Y'all the first ones to jump out of 10 story buildings. Y'all the first ones to commit murder suicide. Meanwhile, here it is, you know, we, we Israelites, so-called Negro, Latino, Native Indians, here it is, you know, some of us, if not the majority of us, are basically working two fucking jobs. Two jobs. Busting our asses off. 16 hours a fucking day. Two jobs. Here it is. We're working two jobs just to make ends meet. And guess what? Y'all don't really care about us committing suicide. So what the fuck you mean, black people? What, what the fuck you, you mean a lot of black people are fucking lazy? Motherfucker, if it wasn't for us, this if, 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 if it wasn't for us working in your fucking kingdom, this kingdom... Would have been crumbled to the ground. The economy would have been collapsed. The financial system would have been collapsed. Take every Israelite out of America and watch how quick this country fucking crumbles to the ground. The truth is, is that you motherfuckers need us. Y'all depend on our hard labor to keep this this piece of shit fucking system running. So don't you dare talk about a lot of black people are like, no, you so-called white people are fucking lazy. Y'all, y'all are the ones with, with all these goddamn pin uh, cushion pushing jobs sitting on y'all motherfucking asses typing on, on, on a goddamn computer while, while answering phone calls. And then y'all get paid $25 for it. And then once you're done with, with, with all your paperwork on your computer, yeah, y'all motherfuckers, yeah, 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 y'all take some computer games like World of Warcraft, League of Legends, Diablo, and guess what? Y'all will slide that right into your computer while at work, and guess what? Y'all be online gaming and shit while on the job, and y'all get paid $25 for it. And guess what? If any more paperwork come in, y'all simply take care of the paperwork on the computer Bam, hit hit that um hit 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 that fax key, and then you'll go right back to playing video games for, for, for the rest of your goddamn shift until it's time for y'all to go home. Y'all, y'all jobs are super fucking easy. Y'all getting paid $24 an hour just to sit on your ass, answer phone calls, and play video games if if if, if all of your paperwork is basically done on your computer. So so shut the fuck up, okay? Your kingdom is going down. Anyways, Amos 1 verse 11, thus saith Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, for three transgressions of Edom, who's Edom? That's the so-called white man. And for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Why? Because he, Edom, that's talking about you so-called white people, did pursue his brother. Who, who, who was the brother of Esau? Our forefather, Jacob whose name was changed to Israel because Jacob and Esau were, 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 were totally and definitely two separate nations of people. Okay. Jacob had brown skin and woolly hair, but Esau, <clears throat> Jacob had brown skin and woolly hair. Jacob had brown skin and woolly hair, but Esau didn't. Esau had no brown skin. Esau's skin was translucent. Esau had, had had that stringy hair. Okay. Okay. The, the hair on, on Esau's body was, was 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 like that of 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 a gorilla. Okay. Esau had that 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 Esau had that gorilla hair. 
okay? Well, which is what? Stringy hair. Stringy hair. Okay? But Jacob had brown skin and woolly hair, just like his parents. So Edom is talking about you so-called white people. Y'all, y'all have stringy hair just like gorillas. But um, because he, Edom, did pursue his brother with the sword, right? And that's you so-called white people are doing that today in the form of these uh police force when, when y'all shooting us down in the streets. Okay, the modern day sword is what? The gun. Because Edom did pursue his brother Jacob with the sword and did cast up all pity. And his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. Forever. And here's an example of you so-called white people keeping your anger perpetually. Look, his hatred, his anger did tear perpetually. You can tell that these so-called white people hate us. Why? Because our forefather Jacob supplanted their forefather Esau of what? Uh, 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 Esau's. Uh, our forefather Jacob supplanted their forefather Esau of, of his birthright and of his blessing. And ever since then, Jacob hated, I mean, and ever since then, slip of the tongue, not with the heart. And ever since then, Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing. Okay, so our forefather Jacob supplanted uh, 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 the so-called white people's forefather Esau. Our forefather Jacob supplanted their forefather Esau of his blessing and of his birthright. OK, so Esau hated our forefather, Jacob, because of the blessing and the birthright, even though the blessings of the kingdom, of even though the blessings of the kingdom of heaven and the birthright of the kingdom of heaven belong to us, even before heaven and earth was created. OK, the, the blessings of the kingdom of heaven, the blessings of the kingdom of heaven and the birthright belong to our nation, the nation of Israel, which will be the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians. The blessings of the kingdom of heaven and the birthright belong to us even before heaven and earth was created. So, A, you so-called white people, you can, take, you, you can take your hatred and your anger issues and you can address it to the Heavenly Father because we didn't write this story, the Heavenly Father did. Okay, but um, yeah, with that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.